for homework number three, I had 7.2 bone structure, which is where I classify bones according to their shape. And I name from I name an example from each of one group. Um, there are five of these bone bone structures classified if they are cinderellical in shape. These long bones function as levers when they move. Um, the muscles contract. These long bones are long and narrow with expanded ends. Um, some some examples of these would be arms, legs, fingers, and toes. Example would be short bones. These bones are cubed in shape they have an equal length and width and thickness these bones provide stability and support as well as limited motion um, some example of these bones would be in your wrist your carpals and in your ankles would be your tarsals flat bones are plate-like with board surfaces these bones are typically thin but they are also curved um, they serve as points of attachment for muscles and also serves as a purpose to protect internal organs. Um, some of these examples would be corneal, your skull bone, your scopulae, and your shoulder, and then your sternum, your breastbone, and also your ribs. Regular bones are in its name, it's irregular. They, they are more complex in shape, therefore it is harder for them to fit with other classifications. Um, the complex shape although helps the vertebrae in the spinal cord to protect from compressive fo forces. Um, the irregular bones are usually connected with other bones in your body. Round bones are small and round bones. Um, it's like the shape of the CCC seed. Um, these bones form in the tendons which help protect um, the these bones also vary in a number and shape from person to person, but typically found in the hands, feet, and knees. The patella are the only sesamone bones found in common with every person. This homework, I used chapter 7, and I also use this online website, which has been helping me with all of my assignments.